Hi, I'm Abigail Hannaford Riccardi, Children's Coordinator here at First Unitarian Church of Worcester. And today I have a story for you about a giant bird called the Ziz, which is from Jewish mythology. The Ziz shows up in one of the Psalms and in the Talmud, and he's said to be so big that when he stands, his feet can rest on the bottom of the ocean, on the floor, and his head can be up in the heavens. Now, this story today, called The Hardest Word, is by Jacqueline Jules. And it's a Yom Kippur story, but like so many of the wisdom stories from all our different world traditions, it's a pretty good story for any day, and especially now during Lent in the Christian tradition, a time of reflection and repentance. And if you're interested, she's written a few other Ziz stories, including one for Noah's Ark and another one for a Hanukkah miracle. So you might want to check them out. I hope you enjoy today's story. A long, long time ago, the world had many large and fabulous creatures. One of those creatures was the Ziz, a gigantic yellow bird with dark red wings and a purple forehead. The Ziz was always making mistakes and finding ways to fix them. He was so huge that when he flew, he blocked out the sun. So the Ziz flew at night. One night, he flew too high and bumped into a star. Sizzle, snap, bang! The star fell out of the sky and down to earth. It burned a big hole in the ground. To fix his mistake, he knocked down a cloud filling the big hole with water. Now it was a lovely pond, and the children had a wonderful time splashing and swimming in it. That mistake is all fixed, the Ziz smiled. One night, however, the Ziz flew smack into a tree. Boom! The tree fell over onto a vegetable garden planted by some children. Oh no! The Ziz covered his eyes. The vegetables were all smashed to bits. I can fix this! The Ziz had a special place where he liked to talk to God. It was Mount Sinai. The Ziz flew there and sat at its peak with his head in the heavens. What have you done this time? God asked as soon as he saw the Ziz. I knocked over a tree which smashed a children's vegetable garden. I can't fix this. No, you can't, God agreed. I want you to search the earth and bring back the hardest word. The Ziz flew off, flap, flap. I'm the biggest bird flap flap searching for the hardest word in a little house the ziz heard a mother say it's time to say good night i don't want to say good night her little boy said the ziz was excited good night must be the hardest word he flew back to mount sinai i found it i found it the hardest word is good night he danced around. He loved being right. Good night is a hard word for children, but there is another word even harder, said God. The Ziz flew off, flap, flap. I'm the biggest bird, flap, flap, searching for the hardest word. He searched all day until he saw a family eating dinner. A little girl said to her mother, May I have some spaghetti, please? The mother smiled. Do you mean you want spaghetti? Once again, the Ziz was excited. He flew back to Mount Sinai. I found it, I found it. The hardest word is spaghetti. He danced around. He loved being right. Spaghetti is a hard word to say. But, said God, there is another word even harder. The Ziz flew off, flap, flap. I'm the biggest bird, flap, flap, searching for the hardest word. 
The bird brought back all sorts of words, rhinoceros, ridiculous, and even rumpelstiltskin. But each time, God said there was an even harder word. After bringing 100 words back, the Ziz gave up. He just couldn't find the hardest world. So he told God, I've come to say I'm sorry because I can't find the hardest word. You can't, asked God. No, said the Ziz, I'm sorry. And then, to the Ziz's surprise, God said, Good job. You found the hardest word. All these words you brought me were hard, but sorry is the hardest of them all. If you say sorry whenever you make a mistake, it's the first step on the path to renewing your relationship with those you've hurt. And so the Ziz flew away, singing to himself, flap, 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 I'm the biggest bird. I just found the hardest word. And then he took a large basket of vegetables to the children and told them he was sorry. And now we have some time for some wondering questions. So I wonder if you noticed that every time the ziz thought he had found the right word. He did a dance, and the story says, it felt good to be right. I wonder what it feels like to be wrong. I wonder if maybe that's why it's so hard to say I'm sorry, because you have to feel and acknowledge that feeling of being wrong. And that doesn't feel good. It'd be easier just to blame something else for it and move on. I wonder if you noticed that when the Ziz went to tell the children he was sorry, he did something else. I wonder if that's important to the story. Now, I told you that the Ziz comes from Jewish mythology, but I wonder if a giant bird with red feathers reminded you of any other mythical creature. Now, I also wonder if you figured out how I made my ziz. This is the time of year when people are losing their gloves so they don't need them anymore. And this particular glove, the pair to it had a big hole in it. So I was left with one glove. But it's very useful for puppets because the thumb and the pinky make the wings, and then the ring finger and the middle finger make the legs. And that leaves my index finger, which has a lot of movement, to control the head. So maybe you have a glove or two. I wonder what type of creature you might make. See you next time.